Vercel is hardcore positioning to be the cloud company that wins in the AI native world with tons of announcements at their keynote Vercel ship, because are you a real company until you host a keynote? It includes a load of announcements about AI and also some that might save you money, but I personally want to save you time, so let's just dive right in. First up, one of my favorite announcements is that the AI gateway is now in beta. This is essentially that version of Open Router, so it's a proxy service to route your AI requests to various AI providers. It's great for when you want to quickly switch between Anthropic, OpenAI, Google, and all of the rest, depending on which is best, without having to manage several different billing platforms and API keys, or it's great for when you need a fallback for a model to make sure that it's always up. For example, with Claude 4, you can access it through Vertex, Amazon, or Anthropic directly. You get $5 of credits on the free tier of a cell, and then after that, the pricing is going to depend on the models that you use. What's particularly nice though, is you can bring your own API key for individual providers, but going through the gateway like this will cost you an additional 3% of what the model would have cost you if you went through Vercel, so there is a tiny markup if you bring your own API keys. When you combine this with the AI SDK v5, which is also in beta, you get what might be the best way to run AI on TypeScript. You can specify the model and provider with just a simple string, and I'm actually planning to do a deeper dive video on this SDK, so subscribe if you're interested in that. Now, what do you do if you're building an AI that generates code and you want to run it safely? Well, now you can run untrusted code with the Cell Sandbox, which is just a few lines of code, generated scripts run in isolated ephemeral environments, and coincidentally, Cloudflare and Anthropic just released something very similar, so competition is definitely heating up. The Sandbox supports execution times of up to 45 minutes with max resources of 8 vCPUs and 2048 megabytes of memory per vCPU. The base system runs on Amazon Linux 2023 and it ships with Node 22 and Python 3.13. For pricing, you do get some included allotments depending on your Vercel plan, but after that, the pricing is going to be the same as Fluid Compute. But great news for your wallet, Vercel are now billing on active CPU time. So you're now only charged for the CPU when it's actively working, which eliminates costs during idle time and can significantly reduce spends for workloads like LLM inference, long-running AI agents, or any task with idle periods. This brings for sale more in line with platforms like Cloudflare Workers. After your free allotments, the pricing will be 12.8 cents per hour of active CPU time and 60 cents per million sandbox creations. If you're curious about the additional pricing for Cloudflare workers, that is 7.2 cents per hour of active CPU time and 30 cents per million invocations. So Cloudflare is cheaper, but they're not entirely one-to-one -one comparable. There's things like memory, runtime, and DX that you need to take into account. To sweeten the deal even more though, they have increased the default execution time for all projects on all plans to 300 seconds, and they've moved edge functions and middleware over to Fluid Compute for better performance and cost efficiency. Continuing that battle against Cloudflare, the Cell Bot ID is now generally available. Bot ID is an invisible capture with no visible challenges or manual bot management required. They've actually partnered with Casada to integrate this technology. Unlike IP-based or heuristic systems, BotID silently collects thousands of signals that distinguish human users from bots, and it mutates these detections on every page load to evade reverse engineering, and it streams that attack data into a global machine learning mesh to collectively strengthen protection for all customers. There's even a TypeSafe SDK to integrate all of this with client-side detection using the BotID client component, and server-side verification with the check BotID function. Moving on, Vercel have also made deployment improvements with rolling releases now being generally available. This allows safe, incremental rollouts of new deployments with built-in monitoring, rollout controls, and no custom routing required. You can start a defined stage and either progress it automatically or manually promote it to a full release. Now for the final announcements, I'll rapid fire these since they're all in limited beta at the moment. But first, we're getting the Cell micro front ends. These enable you to deploy and manage multiple front end applications that appear as one cohesive application to your users. You create a micro front end group in the Cell, then you find a micro front end.json in your root application and that controls all of the routing. Next, Next, we're getting Vercel queues. This is a message queue service built for Vercel applications, and you can offload work by sending tasks to the queue where they'll be processed in the background. This means that users don't have to wait for slow operations to finish during a request, and your app can handle retries and failures more reliably. The code is as simple as these few lines, and it's all fully type safe. Last but not least, we're getting Vercel Agent. This is an AI assistant built into the Vercel dashboard that analyzes your app performance and security data, summarizes anomalies, and identifies likely causes, and recommends specific actions. These actions can span across the platform, like managing your firewall rules in response to traffic spikes or geographic anomalies, and identifying optimization opportunities within your application. There we go. What do you think? Who will come out on top in the AI infrastructure battle? And who are you backing? Cloudflare, Vercel, or someone else? Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe, and as always, see you in the next one.